If you're looking for some remarkable, custom-made artwork for your profile, go check out Kalazar. The link will be in the description. Hey, what is up guys, my name is Zinxo, and today I will be showing you how to create a stunning animated artwork showcase for your Steam profile without the use of any paid programs. But before we get into this video, I just want to thank all of my subscribers for allowing me to hit the 1000 mark. I really never thought I would make it this far on YouTube, so in appreciation I will be hosting a small giveaway over the next week or two. To enter the giveaway, simply comment on this video. It can be literally anything, just make sure to sign it with cornflakes so I know you want to join the giveaway. The winner will be announced in the next video, so if you want to join, I would suggest subscribing so you don't miss it. Now that that's over, let's get into the video. So in order to create an animated artwork showcase for your profile, you will need two things. A Steam background, and an internet connection. Since you're currently streaming an online video, I'm just going to assume that you have an internet connection. Unless you're using mobile data, in which case watching this video to the very end would probably lead to your local mobile network provider breaking into your home at night and shoving a $25,000 fee for online streaming down your throat. T-Mobile True story. So, as I was saying, all you need is a nice looking background. These can be bought from the community market for anywhere from 3 cents to $1,150. Well worth it, I'm sure. Personally, I recommend the ZUP3 backgrounds. They're fairly cheap, usually going for around 40 cents, and have this nice extended border, which are unique to these wallpapers. When you have a background, open up your browser of choice and go to steam.design. The link will be in the description. You can either directly log into your account or paste the URL of your background here. To do this, simply go to your inventory, click on your background, view it in full size, and copy the URL on the top. Paste it in, and your background should appear. Click on Customize Cropping, and make sure this box is unchecked. When you're done, click on Download Images, and extract them from the zip file. Next, go to giphy.com slash create slash gifmaker. Again, the link will be in the description. First, you must create an account. Then click on Choose Photo or GIF, and select your middle artwork. Here's where you create your artwork. First, enter some text. This can be your profile name, or really whatever you want. Center your text and select a font style. I'm going to go with Pixel. For the animation, I'm going to go with Wavy, since I think it looks the cleanest out of all the animations. You can also change the color of your text, but I'm going to stick with white for this one. Then resize the text to your liking. The next step is to choose some stickers. This step is optional, so if you don't want any on your profile, just skip this step. I don't recommend adding any filters either, since the transition effect from your background to your artwork will be lost. Feel free to draw something on your GIF if you feel like it. When you're done, click on Continue to Upload. Give it a name, it doesn't matter what name, and click Upload to Giphy. Go to your profile, click on your artwork, and download it under Social. The last step is to resize your GIF so it isn't cropped when displayed on your profile. Go to easygif.com slash resize and upload your GIF. Scroll down, set the new width and height to 506, and click resize. Then save the image. Now you can upload your finished artwork. Go to your profile and click on artwork. Click on upload artwork, not game specific. Choose File, and select your resized GIF. Give it a name and description, set it to public, certify that you created it, and click on Save and Continue. Once it's uploaded, go to your profile and click Edit. Scroll down and select an artwork showcase. Click on it and upload your GIF. Scroll down and click on Save Changes. And there you go. We made a completely custom artwork without using any paid programs. I'm sure you'll be able to make some great artworks using this method. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.